Hi, thanks for watching my video. A long time ago, I made a, uh, a video, and it appeared that I had train tracks in Johnson Valley. And it did not. It, it was not train tracks. It was simply a road. And I just made the road really narrow. I think the narrowest you can make a mesh road editor is 0.250. So I made one and copied it, moved it over, set the train on it, just drove it. And someone asked if I could please recreate that. And I said, sure. It's not that hard to do. There's a couple of little quirky things that happen in the levels from time to time, but it's very easy to get around it. So we'll come back here. There's my train. I forgot I have a mod on my in my mods folder that puts jet engines in your wheels. And my train kept exploding when I tried to turn the engine off, and I couldn't figure out why. I'll show you. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I'll put a link to that mod down in the description. You can spawn any car you want in the library. Anything. And then you just set a default key for it. And any car that you want. I mean, every single car in your library will, ha <clears throat> will have little jet packs come out of its tires. It's pretty cool. So you want to climb up a hill or something, that's the easiest way to get over a hill. Kind of like Back to the Future. And there's a way... And there's a way you can control the height of the vehicles as well. But, that's a different video. F11 mesh road editor and you want to make that well alt and get it started don't worry about the size press control is it i think it's control yes control a and both nodes will turn white then you can come over here and i think the smallest you can make the width is 0 0.250 i believe and as far as the height, we'll just go with uh, one. Now, as we're going along and making the track, it's going to do this weird thing. You can see it's already off the ground. For some reason, it won't go to the ground. And yeah, I know. I've checked all this stuff up here. But it, none of it matters. It doesn't matter anyways. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... I guess what we'll do is move it over a little bit and try to just reference that yellow line as somewhat of a guide. Doesn't have to be exact. You just don't want to make any really extreme moves. You want everything to be very subtle. You want your curves to be very gradual because it's a train and it's going to pop off the tracks. And you can see right up there we have a curve. So anyways, let's make sure we're selected on the right one. And we're just going to kind of follow this yellow line. Something like that. So I am going to pause the video and make these, this track go, you know, down into there somewhere. And once I'm done with that, I'll bring you back because there's no sense in you watching me do all this. Alright, so here we are. This is what I've come up with. Don't worry about the fact that it's off the ground. It doesn't matter. Um, and you can see when you get into the curves, you want to make the nodes, the sections, much, much closer. You don't want to space them out because then the track will, will be very clunky and it will have angles in it. You want the transitions and the curves to be very smooth. So what we're going to do now is lower this down. And then we're going to go back and make minute adjustments. So come up here and select Object Select, and that will allow you to move the entire track. And let's lower it down. Something like that. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. And if we see any like freaky, really bad bent track type things like right here, it looks like it's bowed out a little bit. We can come back and straighten those. And we're going to go back to the track selector. Go back to the beginning. You don't have to do what I'm about to do. It's very time consuming, but I'm going to do it because I want the track to be smooth. And I'm just going to go along and just pull every node over until it lines up neatly with the edge of that yellow line. So I want the track to be very smooth. So I'm going to fast forward the video here while I do this. So here I am. I'm almost done. I got one more to go. That took about three or four minutes. Not too bad. Kind of glad I straightened it all up because there was a few sections there where I'm quite sure the train would have derailed. But you can see how smooth and how gradual the turn is. Just one little spot right there. And oh, look at that one right there. See, that would cause a derailment right there. Let's get that one over there where it belongs. And then where it went from two lines to one line, I kind of just merged over and gradually started lining up with that center dotted line. So that's one side done. Now what we're going to do is just put the train on there. Look, there's another little, that's a pretty, well, it's in a curve. It's not that bad. So now we're going to grab our train, come up here and go to object select, get our train. And let's bring our train over there. Sometimes it's hard to see below the train with all those shadows and everything and I like it to be really bright under there because it's important that you see what you're doing so we're gonna lift the train up and go to object or create an object and just grab a light a point light and put it right there increase its radius increase its brightness we're gonna delete it so it doesn't matter We'll make the radius 10. And that's our shop light. Now we can see everything. So let's go back to the train. And let's start positioning it on the track. Slow our camera down because it's very important that we have good control here. And I'm just lining up this edge right here with the edge of that, and then I'll move it over. That looks good. Right about there. Now let's go look at the back tire. Hey, we're pretty close. Now you can come up here into your rotations and do microscopic little movements on your rotation, but... I'm close enough here that I think I think I can do it with my mouse. So we're going to lift it up, move it over, I think that's good right there. It doesn't matter if it's off a little bit, the, no matter if it's too tight or too loose, the train's going to wobble. Well, that's quite a bit off. Let's rotate that. Yeah, we may have to go up here and start using the numbers. Because the mouse jumps a lot of numbers. You can see our rotation up here. If you look at Z, you can see how fast it jumps. I have a wireless mouse. Maybe if I had a wired gaming mouse, the increments of movement would be a lot less. So. That's 6.9 and 7.8. So let's go with, let's try 8. That looks pretty good. Good round number to start with. Okay, I think that's close enough. Maybe 8. Two. 
That looks good. All right, we're going to call it 8-2, maybe 8-3. So now what we're going to do, that I'm happy with that, is select the track and just move it over. Go to, well we are on object select. Go to your track, highlight the track, object select, hold down the shift key and grab that track and move it over. So now you have an exact mirror duplicate of that one. Because the guy that asked me to make this video was like, how could you possibly make another track freehand to copy this? You don't. You just copy that track and move it over. All right, let's see if this will work. Let's lift our train up and drop it on the tracks. Let's see what happens. First, let's go to Edit and Rebuild Collision. Make sure that it sees everything. Make sure it finishes up here. All right, and just press J. I think that's a little bit loose. The wheels are going to be a bit loose, so it may get some wobble to it. So far, so good. There's some sparks coming off, which means it's grinding on that side, but so far, so good. They're not wobbling. Usually, they shake violently left and right, and it may do that when I, when I get into the curve. Starting to get a little bit of wobble there. Probably because the tracks are far apart. So that worked out pretty good. So now we're going to press F11. Track editor. Highlight one of your tracks. Come over here and we're going to pick a material. Now I'm not going to go into detail here trying to find something that looks like wood or anything like that you can do that if you want go through the whole library there is some really good looking wood and metals and stuff in here if you want i'm just going to use the first thing that comes to mind just simple concrete track editor a that's it exit the world editor Shift C. Let's go to the other end real quick and look at how smooth those tracks are. No big complicated curves or glitches or anything. Got to make sure it's smooth. And just copy the other track. So we're going to put a vehicle right here real quick. <clears throat> let's put the bus there. Let's go back to our train. J. And to power the train, you just press your accelerator and hit T several times to uh, make it go. This time I'm going to leave it full throttle and see if it makes it around the curve. Last time it was going 50, I think 50 when it hit the curve, or maybe it was something. Else.
There is one more thing I want to show you. During that video that I made. Oh, and uh, one more thing he asked about. You can go into your asset browser and find something. I don't remember what I used. Just look through here and find. You could use a. You can use a shipping container. Anything that looked like. Well, there's a piece. Well, can't get much better than that. Object select 45 rotation. We'll snap that 45 and move that over. Resize that. He was asking me about how I put railroad ties in there, and that was how I put railroad ties in there. Now, to give you a more authentic train track look, but I I'm not going to go through and put train track, these these railroad ties or whatever you call them. That would be very time consuming. And we use this to kind of get it straight. Just so I can make a few of them. Oh. It's not straight. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Put it this way. Yeah, I think it's time for new batteries on my, my wireless mouse. So that is pretty good. And now we'll go to snap 45. There we go. Much better. Bring that down. And then you could just copy these every however many you want. And that gives you the more authentic train look, train track look. But another thing I was asked was, on another video with train tracks, you couldn't see the train tracks, but it appeared that the train was going on the train tracks. That is true. You can highlight your train track. Let's go back to your track mesh road editor. What is that called? Mesh road editor. And come over here to your top material. Click on that and just type in INVIS and invisible will pop up. Road Invisible, Road Invisible. Let's highlight this one. Road Invisible, Invisible, Invisible. F11. F11. There we go. So now, it's going to appear that you have a train that hovers. 